Sweden versus American Homes. Let's get straight into it. Oh, hey guys. It's Andrew coming at you. And in this one, after living in Sweden for six years, I thought it would be fun to talk about the differences between homes in America versus Sweden. That's coming up, but I feel like we need something cool. Some kind of cool thing with slow mo. We'll get it. Gotta love the slow mo clips, man. They just make every video look better. <laughs> so, one of the first things the difference is, is depending on where you are in the United States, but uh, where I was in Pennsylvania, we didn't always take off our shoes, but in a Swedish home, you're always gonna take off your shoes and usually have a spot in a location yeah. where we can take off our shoes. It was a little muddy the last couple of days, but I'm gonna put this over here. Brother, won't you be, won't you be my Swedish neighbor? You be my neighbor. So getting that out of the way, I wanna talk about two other things that are gonna- Now see, like, I wasn't raised to take off my shoes at the front door, but the people that I have met that I come across, you know, they've been, you know, raised to take off your shoes at the front door, you know? It's gonna be different in the homes in Europe and Sweden as opposed to the United States. The next one is the light switches here. If you look at the switches here, the way the light switches work in Sweden is a bit different. Our light switches are a little bit smaller and go up and down like this. Oh, wow. So I'll, I'll go ahead and link a picture there so you That's guys cool. can see that. The next difference has to do with the electrical system that we use here. We use the EU plug cable, and in the United States, you're gonna have to use this prong one as well. And in some homes, funny enough, there's a three prong one in older homes in the United States yeah. that you need to use. I wanna show you something else really, really cool that we have here. Uh, this is an oven that, I'm sure the technology exists in the United States, but if you throw stuff on it when it's off, it'll start beeping. But if you check this out, if I just put this on, and like turn it on instantly. It's an induction oven, which is really, really cool. You'll see here the water will like instantly start to boil up and it starts to heat up. Mm -hmm. But the parts here don't get hot. And it's kind of like a smart oven as well. If you leave stuff on it, it beeps. If uh, you're cleaning it, it beeps. And it won't let you have stuff on it when it's off. And what's nice too is it doesn't get hot here. So if you get mm. the camera close here, you can see that the water is actually already starting to heat up. It's the most insane thing I've ever had. I love this technology. Now, I will say we, we do have those type of stoves here because uh, my mom has one of those type of stoves. Another thing, guys, that I want to talk about here is the windows in Sweden and how they're different to the United States. A lot of times our windows, and there are older windows in Sweden that open a little bit differently, but the windows we have in the United States a lot of times are like two windows. Yeah, you have to you lift it up. Slide it up mm -hmm. and open it. And we almost always have a screen. But in every Swedish home I've been to here, and I've heard there are screens, but they typically open out like this. Oh, wow. Uh, and then you can hit the buttons here and you can actually open the whole window out because in the summer, a lot of homes don't have air conditioning like we have in the United States. But the one thing that annoys me about that with Swedish homes, no offense to everybody, is just simply that the bugs and things can get in. So I'm not a big fan of that. Mm. But I can show you one other thing with that is with decks as well, in other homes, it's the same. Like a deck door, like this one we have here, you'll be able to just go ahead and open uh, the whole entire door here yeah. and let the air in, which is really nice in the springtime. It's very, very cozy. Just the difference, like I said, is the American homes, we would have like a screen here. Yeah, I was just about to say that we have like the screens that you can just put in front of it, open the door and the wind still comes through and you got to worry about the bugs coming in. It'd be really, really nice. Guys, yeah. by the way, our video today is sponsored by Lurkit.com, your number one spot for esports and multi-streams. Uh, the link is in the description below. Please go and support them. Another thing I want to talk about quickly is door handles and how the door handles work here. Uh, in the U.S., a lot of times we have knobs, but as you can see here, just simply up and down here. So the door handles are different. It's all little small differences. Yeah. Most most houses have uh, the knobs, but there are some that I've seen that have those type of knobs that, that he's showing. Uh, to the TV tax people, uh, this is a very, very big uh, computer monitor. Thank you. One thing I want to mention Wait. that you don't have... Wait, did he just cut a computer monitor? So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's all little small differences. And uh, to the TV tax people, uh, this is a very, very big uh, computer monitor. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I want to mention that we don't have here is staircases. A lot of times in the United States, staircases just go straight up. Again, I'll put mm -hmm. a picture in. And in Swedish homes, I notice a lot of more modern Swedish homes having more of a spiral uh. staircase, which kind of utilizes more space. This is the room that has the biggest differences in it. And this is our bathroom, and I'm just going to show you a couple of unique things we have here. The first thing I want you to look at is the toilet. And all, although our toilet only has one flusher here, many toilets in the United States are going to have the flusher on the left or the right here. Oh wow! Our home only has one flusher, but most modern homes this is a little bit older home. Most modern homes have uh, two flushers: one that's for the pee and one that's for the poo, and it's really? supposed to help with the overall flushing. 
as an American, it was kind of tough to get used to because let me tell you, when I pee, I still want to get that flush all the way out there. I don't want to keep that still there, but it's a nice little extra thing. Now, don't the water like turn a different way in different places also? I'm not sure if it's in Sweden, but like, I forgot how I was turning. It, it like turns a certain way, but I think y'all go the other way. I'm not saying in Sweden, but in other places, I think. Let me go ahead and show you our shower because this is also a unique thing. Now, most shower places in Sweden utilize this space. As you can see, this bathroom is utilized. It's also a laundry room. I just realized you, a laundry <laughs> in the bathroom. That's kind of wild to see, I'm not gonna hold you. This is really cool here because this is a washer machine slash a dryer machine, but most suites, including myself, we typically don't use the dryer so much in the summertime. We actually hang our clothes out, which is a difference in, in, from the United States because we typically have a suite, oh, Swedish, we typically have a washer and dryer and we actually have a room for that. So it's really cool that we utilize this yeah. space here. Um, but like I said, a lot of shower areas, uh, the bathroom utilizes the space because you have, I'll show you here how this closes this kind of folds in on itself here so we can fold we can fold this part in a lot of times in american homes i've never really seen wow. this in any home but uh, maybe a few but most of our showers are completely attached to the wall here and we can't move them but in the swedish homes you can do this which is really cool because you want to go like this 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 yeah we we have those uh you just well, I mean, I'm pretty sure the newer homes, they probably have them where you can just detach it, but you can actually just buy one that you can just detach from the uh, thing. Um, but yeah, like, this is it's very interesting. <laughs> you can reach all those areas with the pressure. Uh, it's just one of those things that we don't have in the United States as it's common that I just find to be interesting. Hey guys, remember these? Come in. This is my recording studio. This is where all the magic, the YouTube magic that you see happens here. But one thing I want to talk about, well, is the lights here and how they work. I'll show you. And maybe this happens in the States, but I don't think so, so much. But you can see that, like, you can actually just, like, pull this off the wall here and unplug it. And you can take the whole thing down. I'm not going to do that oh, now wow. because I won't be able to put it back up. As you can see here, I'm not the tallest guy. That's but, cool. Uh, I, I never noticed this in the United States. If I'm wrong, please, please tell me. Yeah, I never seen one like that. Uh, not yeah, that in my, my knowledge. Hey, guys. Welcome to my bedroom. I just want to show you one vinyl thing. And that has to do with the... Uh, the way that the final bed sheet or the big bed sheet is in the United States what's different about this is that uh, it's just one sheet by itself and these Swedish sheets a lot of times you can see here there's like a sheet actually an inner sheet inside here oh, wow. you don't wash this part you wash the outside part our mm. sheets is like one big sheet the final sheet I guess and we wash it but not all the time not as often as you wash everything else in your clothes and I want to talk about this final thing this uh, the wall here um, the Parts in the American homes, we usually have like a, a little bit cheaper drywall. Some places you can just like punch right in, mm -hmm. but this is uh, concrete. It depends on the place you're in, but a lot of these places are a lot more sturdy here uh, and you're able to not punch through them so easily. Oh, wow. Not that I'm punching so much in the homes. Oh, hey guys. Uh, so thank you for checking out this video. Uh, I'm about to take a nap because, you know, I'm 31. I'm a bit of an old man right now. <laughs> I feel and it. I, I feel just wanted it. to. I'm sure well, you hit that path at 30. Well, you, the naps are needed. <laughs> some stuff here, but I was excited to do this video. I've been wanting to do it for a long, long time. So put in the comments below the things that I missed. Uh, and again, if you're new to the channel, would love to have you subscribe or talk about things in Sweden. Please visit the sponsor we have in the list below. And I'm gonna see a nap, guys. So, hello. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. It's really good. Shout out to the original content creator. I'm gonna leave his link in the description. But yeah, man, it, it's always dope to like see how other cultures and other places like live, you know, and how their technology is, you know, might be slightly different. I may do things certain different ways. But you know, just learning this type of stuff is always is dope. It's very exciting. But um, definitely looking forward to checking out more of these videos. Let me know in the comments what other videos I want to see me react to. Till next time, deuces.